One of the most widely used features in Easy Stamp since 1997 has been our eLook tool, which allows you to easily search eBay and bid start for stamps. A recent change made by eBay greatly changed the way searches work, so we had to redo our eLook technology to work with the new uh, eBay changes. While doing this, we decided to ex uh, expose some of the tools that we use when hunting for stamps to buy on, uh, on eBay. To get the new eLook option, just start Easy Stamp and then go to Help, which is up here, and then click, for, click on Check for Free Updates. And uh, Easy Stamp will download, download the latest version which has these new features. So let's have a look at them now. To start uh, eLook and Easy Stamp, you can use the Control E keyboard combination, or you can just go to the View menu and select eLook which is here. So go to view and oh, sorry. I'll go to search and eLook and that brings up the uh, uh, the new eLook window. So I had Scott number 770 on the screen and when we fire up eLook that's the one it's about to search and um, when you look at the revised screen, you'll see several new options available. One is the number of results per page. The default is 25, but if you click on the drop down, you'll see that you have the option of 50, 100, or 200. I personally like the 25. Sometimes 200 is, is convenient. It just depends on what I'm doing. A new filter is also now available to search title and description. This is the, the, the default is uh, title only. So you can now search completed listings and sold listings as well. We will discuss the importance of these uh, shortly. So let's look for this number 770. So all we have to do is click on eBay here. And as you can see, it's found a bunch of uh, number 770s. Let's go back to Easy Stamp. I like to keep the window open, especially when I'm uh, doing multiple searches. You can just check or uncheck this box here. Um, when we just did this search for number 770, we found over 150 items for sale. Now, if we select the title and description, what the eLook is going to do is not only will it search the eBay title, but it'll search the description that the seller has typed in and see if there's any matches there. And more than likely, you will get more items that match. It depends on how the items were listed on eBay by the seller. So let's do that now. We'll do the same search, searching title and description. And this time we found 197 of them. So again, it all depends on what you know what the user typed in. Let's close that and go back. Okay. The feature that I find the most compelling is the completed listing search. This can be invaluable when you're trying to determine if the stamps you are wanting to buy are a good purchase or not. On eBay, sellers can ask any price they want for a stamp. But if it does not sell, it can be quite informative in that they may be asking too much. So let's do a search for completed items for this particular stamp. And there's 235 of them. And here they are. Okay. What I... Uh, what I use the most is the sold listings option. And all you have to do is click on here and click on eBay. And these are all the items that have been sold for that particular stamp. This can be quite valuable information, especially if you were wanting to buy a stamp and want to know that you are getting a good price for it. Likewise, it is just as valuable when you are selling a stamp you don't want to list it too high as it may not sell and you don't want to list it too low so you get the best value for your stamp. So here it is here so you can actually look at what these stamps have actually been sold for and then you can make your own judgment on uh, uh, if you're buying or selling what uh, you know what would be a good good price to list or buy at. As mentioned in previous videos on our eLook search, you can search for uh, you can search for uh, not just for specific uh, stamps, but you can search for specific types of stamps that you want. So, for example, you may want a first day cover 
um, and say if, if this is what you wanted for this stamp you can just type in FDC after the, the number and go back to search and it's going to only show you first day covers of that particular stamp and there's one right there likewise you can do a search for mint or used or sheets uh, pretty much anything that you want to type in there let's look at a few more items here so I'm going to run a, a, a report here of what I've been playing with here so in any easy stamp report or search if you right click on an item you will have the option to do an e-look on that and let's do the default here and just see what's available and there they are Now, one of the nice things um, when you're using eLook to search for a different country, you don't actually have to open the country. You can just go to the list and uh, select your country. One of my favorite stamps is Canada's Blue Nose, and I'm always trying to upgrade my copies. Um, so I always uh, take a look here and there every once in a while. And uh, there. So if I find one that I'm interested in, I'd, I'd buy it. Anyways, I encourage you to use this feature to its fullest. That's all for now. There will be uh, more videos coming shortly. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Bye for now.